cars roll here at the Indianapolis Speedway after the most dramatic weekend of qualifying, both for the pole position, which this man here, Chip Ganassi Racing's Alex Pillow, claimed yesterday to become the first Spanish driver here at Indy to ever sit on the pole position for the Indianapolis 500. What a story that is in the American Legion Honda. Welcome to practice, folks. We've got a wonderful two hours ahead here. This is a critical memory. If you've qualified for this race, 33 drivers on the bricks with the Borg Warner Trophy. The most famous, the most valuable trophy in all of sports. Oh, Felix Rosenquist was late. Unless you're late <laughs> for it. And watch the poker face behind him. Ed Carpenter <laughs> with the move. Absolute deadpan. And there's always a joke or two, a prank or two among the driver field. It's been a little mild these days. We haven't seen the uh, the marble-filled hot tubs of years past yet. There's still plenty of time for that. You talk about the balance. That is something that Chip Ganassi Racing is really focusing on. Alex Pillow just out there. And uh, that's the team is not at all urgent right now. Of course, we know that's not really the big picture. But guys, I want to take it back just a moment. He's the only guy within the Chip Ganassi camp that doesn't have his face in the board, Warner. He obviously is looking for the double here at IMS, having won that GP. In talking with the team, the big goal really is all about balance here today. But what I loved was what you guys were talking about on the show yesterday and how the visual that we really understood is you can't even see within the few seconds of 10 miles that was the difference between first, second, and third place with the laps that they were putting on. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what that time really was is that this field is so close and they really need to make sure every little bit of that balance really shimmies out for them here today. Dylan? And you're going from 220, 225 down to that 50 mile an hour pit speed. And you've got to drag it all the way over, right? From right to left, you've yep. got to bring it over. Let's show you a replay of Colton Herter. This is a few moments ago. there and then watch this this is Arce Enison this is a little close for comfort on practice day so what happened for Colton Herta that's kind of gnarly is he was practicing coming off turn four in anger and if we pause it once he passes the car that's on pit lane so he's breaking hard breaking hard all of a sudden he's like oh no what's this guy doing whoa 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 he goes to the inside and the reason he's surprised is if we pause it right here, there's the pit speed line right there. So Colton has timed his his brake hit way later. Peterson They've was... moved the pit speed line further down exactly where it's gonna be for the race. And you can see him raising his left hand and he's probably wondering, A, why was that driver going so slow? Well, you don't have to be practicing a full race pit stop. Number two, he's probably wondering, hey, why isn't my spotter saying anything? Well, one of the reasons that your spotter might not know is that the spotters are in turn one and turn three. If you're the turn three spotter, I'm not sure that you can see that car slow on the pit entry from the turn three spotter stand. So these are all the little things, Diff, that in what should be just a nice, normal practice to get settled in can potentially eliminate a race car, which Colton Herta had in carb day practice last year. I don't want to harp too much and dwell too much on yesterday. I know it stings, but how are you feeling today? Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm all right. Um, you know, I think uh, there's still a lot that I can add here. And so try to be here for all the teammates and, and uh, see how much better we can make their cars and allow them to go compete. Um, you know, we still have challenges ahead. There's no doubt about that. But obviously for me, you know, I just want to make sure that we're here and, and uh, it, it, you know, to help the organization get as far forward as we can. Spent the morning in meetings, you know, already focused on next year, see what we can do uh, to move the team forward. But, um, you know, for here and now, we got a race. They got a race ahead of them. And uh, we're here to help. Have there been any conversations with you about potentially trying to find a ride, find another car, anything like that? No. As I said yesterday, and I stand by it, you know, Indy, you got to earn it here. We didn't earn it, so I don't believe, I don't believe in that. Looks like that was Castro Neves also coming in, another pink and white Auto Nation Sirius XM car. See how close that was with Pelot on the previous lap. Check this out. 
Keep your eye on the blue and white car behind Scott McLaughlin in the all-yellow Penzoil Chevy. Splitting the gap. Getting some good race practice in the turn one. Yeah, he was... Uh... Hopefully that's just our microphone and not Scott Dixon's engine cutting in and out. This is the view from Alexander Rossi. Award one way, Newgarden the other. <laughs> and Rossi, I'm sure, heard three wide and thought, uh, guys, it's Monday practice, chill, and back right out of it. Listen, this is Indy. I mean, here's the thing. In all seriousness, Pato Award, as good as he is, as strong as his race team is, what are the chances that you are guaranteed that opportunity again? You just don't know. He That's might right. never be in that situation again. I hope he is, but it's not a given as the yellow comes out for track inspection. That's French, by the way, for inspection. Oh, thank you. Mm. Indiana French. Look at this traffic. This is awesome. Group running race simulation at its best. Santino Ferrucci, Devlin DeFrancesco. Oh boy, somebody's running oh. up hard, our first crash. Oh, Who is boy. that? It's Catherine Legg in the wall and Stefan Wilson. You can see that coming from a mile away. Catherine Legg didn't realize that the field was checking up and she goes right into the back of the 24. This is a first major moment of the month of May. It has been clear practice, clear qualifying until now. Stefan Wilson, Catherine Legg, two of the one-off entries for this year's Indy 500 into the wall hard. Top, top of your screen, Catherine Legg uh, climbing out of her Hendrickson Honda as the AMR safety team still tending to Stefan Wilson. Just don't understand what what happened there i mean catherine leg was was closing at a high rate of speed into the back of stefan wilson that didn't appear like there was any side-by-side -side racing going on and there was actually a pretty good gap uh spread between the next three or four cars in front it, it didn't appear like there was a massive checkup happening either stefan wilson with the amr safety team and there is the thumbs up from steph that's good to see yeah as you see, the tub oh my. is done on the 24. So green flies, I understand it's 30 minutes guaranteed, not an additional 30 minutes. So we'll keep an eye on the clock for that. But good to see the cars rolling. Thanks again to track workers and the AMR safety team uh, for being with the drivers, getting those cars, getting the safer barrier fixed to enable the rest of the field to go back out there. Let's hear from Catherine Legg. How is she? Uh, she says she is physically okay. I know not the end to today that you wanted. Um, we have a replay, I think, that we can show you here. But what did you see or, or feel or notice there out of your, uh, your front windshield there? I mean, it's hard to say. I need to see a replay. But um, the cars in front were all checking up. And I lifted as much as I could and downshift, hit the brakes. But it wasn't enough as they were checking up. So got into the back of Stefan, and we both ended up in the wall. I, I know you haven't been back to the garage or, or checked in with the team necessarily yet, but what is the backup car situation? Do you, do you know what you guys have? I have no idea. I'd have to talk to the guys. I know that uh, it's another blow to the team though. You know, after yesterday, it's just, oh, those guys don't deserve it. It's not right. Thank you, Catherine. There you see Rosenquist, Award, and Rosenquist and Award trying to work together as Scott Dixon passes Ferrucci to go to the front of this queue. Let's do a, a, uh, a comparison as we come out of turn two and head down the back stretch. Watch this. Our production crew's been hard at work to gather this up and give us a little comparison with that tight move from Colton Herter before in comparison to Ryan Hutteray many years ago. And that's Callum Eilat in the black and green Hukos Hollinger car coming out of the pits. But this is the comparison you're talking about. 2014 on the left, the pass in the grass from Hunter Ray on the right. Just about 45 minutes ago, Colton Herta <laughs> thinking about it on Ed Carpenter. And that pass in the grass was for the win, was for the lead and ultimately the win of the Indianapolis 500. And Captain America proudly back in the field in his dryer Reinbold Chevrolet. His teammate Stefan Wilson 
involved in that big oh. crash as Colton Herter had to gather it up. Colton Herta has got to be thinking in the back of his head, hey, be aggressive, push, learn here, but don't overdo it because last year, carb day, it got away from him at the worst possible time. The final practice, just two days before the Indy 500, he loses it in dirty air in turn one, up and over. Big old axle grind on the aero screen. And he had to go to a new chassis, and it just wasn't the same for the race. Ended up with a mechanical issue, finished 30th. Seven and a half minutes left of this Monday practice. Here's Will Power, Verizon Chevy. On top of the time charts at the moment, and has put in some 83 laps, getting close to a half race distance. Let's watch this turn four. Threshold break, woe it down, boom. Right at 60 at the line. Let's see if they're doing some hot stops. If we stay on board, it wouldn't surprise me if Team Penske's laid out with seven minutes to go, doing what they do best. It sure looks like it. Watch this. Slides long. Slides long. Yeah. So I talked about all the little surprises that you want to practice including what happens if your driver skids long in your box, the yep. adjustments you need to make to still swiftly fuel and swap tires in and around about seven, seven and a half seconds. By the way, if you're interested, who had the best 10 lap average? None other than the pole sitter, Alex Pillow. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.